Today I'll be using this dowel and the braiding hair to create some curly crochet hair you all. So I'll wrap the middle of the hair around the dowel and wrap it as tight as I can until I reach the hand and I'll do it very closely. It all depends on the type of curl you're going for. So if you're going for a more tighter curl you wrap it tightly. If not you can give it a lot of space and you get different type of curls. I'll keep wrapping until I reach the ends of the hair. Now I'll do the same thing to the other part of the hair and I'm doing it very closely and very tightly because as I said I'm going for a tighter curl. So this is how it looks when I finish and I'll go ahead guys and do the rest off cam. No need to do all that on the camera. So this is the finished look. I have like 12 dowels and these are braided hair I used from a previous video. Now I'll immerse them in the hot water and let them stay for a few minutes. Then I'll go in once they're dried. This is another day. So I'll just remove the hair from the dowel. So this is the curly crochet here you all and as you can see the curls are nice and tight and these are the 12 pieces that I did. So now I'll go ahead guys and do a curly crochet updo you all. Curly messy crochet updo. Doing this crochet style guys you don't have to go ahead and do your own crochet hair. You can Use all the curly hairs from Amazon or other hair store to get this look. I'll link a few in the description, guys. So if you're interested, you can go and check these hair out. So as you can see, my hair is in a ponytail. And all I'll be doing is just crushing the hair just as though it is around the perimeter of the bun. And that is all I'll be doing, you all. So you just pull the hair through. You don't want to put both. You just want to put one and through and just tight. You don't have to do it as tight, guys. But just make sure it is nice and secure. Just like this. And you go ahead and just finish up. And you use the amount of hair you want to use. Because we're going to separate this hair. We ain't going to leave it like this. We're going to separate it and give it a messy, messy look. finish crocheting the hair I'll go ahead and separate the curls to make sure it gives my bun a messy look so you don't want the curls to be tightly 
you want it to be messy so you separate it as much as you can The part where I put it in a bun, guys, I don't know if my camera didn't record it or I deleted that footage, but all I did was just put a ponytail older over the hair and just do it in how you would do a normal bun you all. So now I'll just use a piece of the hair and just tie it around and just leave both ends down to make sure, guys, you have curls falling from all over your hair. It's been a minute, so let's get down to business. Then you go in with your scissors and trim if there's no hanging hands or nothing like that. Just now you stay cold and you told me to move on. I know I won't last long. Now we're going to use this lace glue, guys, and put a little, just a little tap right there and right there and right there, guys. So we're just going to use a little piece of hair. Yeah, and just cut it to the size you want on the length you want it and just take it to that wig glue And guys that looks like guys it's growing from her scalp. Yeah, the curls are coming from her scalp So you go in and trim it as you like to make sure the length is what you want So and now we're gonna do this little part and then you cut to your own liking or if this step is optional for you you can go ahead and do whatever you like. So this is a finished look, guys. So thank you for watching. As always, guys, I do, do, do appreciate you. Until next time, bye.